and Morgan. That's interesting. And Morgan keep going, even just for the three rounds at this pace. Swaby electing to stand in between rounds. He's been out in Beijing working with David Price. Of course, got the bronze in the Olympics. The black and gold skirt of Lee Swaby. A popular, likeable guy from Lincoln. And the beast in the black who walks into a left hand there. Darren Morgan. Right to the back. In the opening round, Morgan was stopping Swaby, moving anti-clockwise the way a southpaw wants to move. So I think he's been told how to, to box a southpaw. But Swaby, at the beginning of this round, is moving that way, and the jab started working there. Yeah, despite the switch hitter, Pelle Reid, who's already out of the tournament, any real southpaw is Swaby. Some felt that would favour him. Plus his, uh, his style, where he sort of fights in spits and spurts. That might be suited if he can pace himself well. See, you can see Morgan again, shuffling round to his left, trying to cut the ring off on the south post, maybe. But uh, his head's stationary, he's taking shots as he moves forward. Exchanging punches is OK if you get your own punches off, but Morgan just taking too long to get them off. Yep, not quite quick enough, Darren Morgan. His stablemate Enzo Macronelli was telling us last week that the beast is really up for it. And will shock a few people as he swings a looping left hook. But it's sensible from Swaby. Yep, Swaby's the one finding the target in the second round here. I thought this would settle down a little bit. I think they were just a little bit over-enthusiastic in the opening round. This is better. Dropped his hands though, Swaby. Got to be careful. And one of these big shots just clocking him. Swaby has been stopped a few times before, but he's a tough enough customer. A gulp of air there by Morgan, too. So, I mean, he's winding up powerful shots, big swings which are taking a lot out of him. Swaby been here so often. Block those. Tip to the body shots. Darren Morgan. Right. Dave Paris just breaking them up, looking for a bit of clean action. Marked up around the eyes. Morgan. Morgan's not coming out with enough here. That was a little bit better, but he's staying in punching range, but not punching. I walked into an uppercut as well. It's crude from Morgan. Just wants to try and drive through Swaby. But the better boxing from the Lincoln Southpaw. Yeah, he's just trying to grind Swaby down, I think. But uh, Swaby been here so often, that was a good round for Swaby, I thought. And the winner of this as Swaby takes a big breath is the high tower six foot five of him prize fighter favorite he's dealt with dave ingleby he's getting a rest <laughs> he needed it after that one it was pretty tough and he will uh, face darren morgan or lee swaby who's it to be well morgan has the physical advantages he tried to use them in the second round but i thought it was just a little bit too crude too open walking straight forward and swaby Finding the target, uh, some nice little punches, using his experience, getting himself back out of there. Thought that was oh, a good round for Swaby. All right. Yes. Quality. And the punches with Lee Swaby. You got one, one left three and four. And Cannot count Morgan out Indeed. until the final bell, though. Seconds out, third and final round. Final round of this, 31-year-old Darren Morgan, 32-year-old Lee Swaby. And he's now a heavier favourite, Lee Swaby, to come through.